this is a time that requires incredible courage on our part. We all, at this point, have to stop thinking about me, about ourselves, and about, am I going to save $2 on this shirt and help create slavery in Indonesia at sweatshops? Am, am, am I willing to give up bottled water and drink water out of the tap, even though I think it may not possibly be quite as healthy? Uh, am, am, am I willing to eat foods that have preservatives in them, but that are grown fairly locally and kept over the winter, as opposed to buying organic food that's shipped in from Australia and therefore uses a lot of, a lot of oil? Am I willing to make these sacrifices so that my children and grandchildren will have a place to live on this planet that they recognize? Because it's going to require courage for us to reach a place where we can say, it's not fair that less than 5% of the world's population, us in the United States, are consuming over 25% of its resources. It's not fair that we're taking the water from Fiji and bottling it here. That's no good for the world and the future. And that takes courage. We also all have to have the courage to put our lives at risk. You know, I, I often look back at the American Revolution and think about what courage George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and Thomas Paine and their wives and children had because every one of those people was a terrorist, a traitor. They were up against the strongest empire in the history of the world at the time, the British Empire. And they stuck their heads in nooses. If they had lost the revolution, they would have been hanged. And they had the courage to do that. And we must have that courage today. We must have the courage to stand up to a system that we know we can deeply improve upon, and that it may require what we might call sacrifices. It may even require us risking our lives. I know in a way I took a risk by writing a book. I stuck my head in the noose by going up against the establishment. We all must be willing to do that because there's a, something that's so much more important than the water I drink today or the clothes I wear today, and that's the future for our children and our grandchildren and this very planet. So being fearless at this point requires tremendous courage and the recognition that there's something much greater than my immediate needs and my immediate life. And that looks, that, that looks at the whole integrated planet and its future.